What you want me to say? That I'm caught in the days That I'm stuck in autopilot But I'm flying away There's a lot I can say What's going on guys, this is Stradax here. Just letting y'all know one quick easy step that y'all can support me as a creator is go to the item shop, the bottom right hand corner, click support a creator, and you type in Stradox just like this, hit accept, and then you can see at the top right hand corner, creator supported Stradox. So every time you make a purchase or buy V-Bucks, you are supporting your favorite YouTuber, Stradox. Thanks again guys. What is going on everybody? This is Stridox here bringing you a Fortnite video. In this video there are some things I'm going to talk about like the week 2 loading screen has been released. The emblem on the ninja's uh, shoulder pad, I guess you want to call them a ninja, but they look like a ninja to me, on the shoulder pads. Um, the counter attack bundle scam that everyone's claiming and the infinity bow that is going to be found in the chest at X marks the spot. Let's go ahead and hop into this video, guys. The very first thing I want to talk about is um, the counterattack bundle scam. Guys, listen, I'm going to go ahead and be straight up honest with y'all. This is, this is not a scam in my eyes because they never once said that it's like buy this skin and then get the uh, NVIDIA graphics card or the GeForce uh, GTX graphics card. It was never like that. It was like, uh, guys, we're advertising this brand new uh, graphics card. It's an amazing graphics card. Oh, and by the way, if you get this graphics card, you'll always you'll you'll also get this counterattack skin as well. Just like the one that I'm repping right here that they just released on February or on March the uh, March the second. They actually released this. The uh, the instinct skin with the back bling, and they also released the reflex skin with the back bling. And they also re, uh, released the angular axe and also the uh, the pivot glider. Guys, first of all, if you're not using code Stridox in the item shop, then what are you doing? Okay, right here, credit supported Stridox. And second of all, these skins are dope. 100%. I had to cop the instinct skin. Um, I understand some of you guys may be upset. Some of you guys, some people around the world may actually bought this skin. Or yo, you bought the graphics card because you wanted this skin because it's kind of like a rare skin. I understand that concept, concept, but you also have to understand Fortnite did not say that um, you know buy this skin and you'll get a graphics card with it. It was buy the graphics card. They're advertising their graphics card, and by the way, if you get the graphics card, you'll also get this exclusive skin. So. You can't really be mad about that, guys. I think this is a dope skin. They put it in the item shop for everyone to get, which is I think it's pretty cool. So uh, if you haven't got it already, man, I would I would recommend getting it. I mean, I mean, if this is like basically your rare skin, I would I would hop on this. Now let's get into the juicy, juicy stuff. The one of my favorite parts about this video is the week two loading screen right here. This loading screen will give us so much information about what we need to know about next week, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Obviously, you can see... What what are they even called, man? Like, what are they... I, I'll call them the ninja. I don't know why I call them ninjas, but they're called ninjas in my eyes. But he's called the hybrid. Okay. The hybrids. You can see there's the uh, the, the first hybrid. Then you have, like, the, the second evolved form of the hybrid. And then you have the, the final evolved form of the hybrid. But... Um, if you notice on their on the shoulder pads, you have the serpent looking dragon egg that dragon emblem that was in the eggs. Um, let's take a look at the in-game image right here. You can see there it is right here, guys. The emblem that is in the egg is looks exactly the same. This is, looks exactly like it. And if you go to its final form, which is right here, let me hold on, wrong one, which is right here, you can see the emblem is uh very 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 familiarized with the egg look at this guys this is what the egg is supposed to be looking like whenever it hatches right and the reason why i say hatches is because if you look at the back of the week two loading screen on the, on the left side you can see the banner so the week two banners be right there where those eggs are going to be at so obviously it's going to be uh right now those two eggs are there but also you can see that the other two eggs are there as well and they are hatched so next week I'm thinking those these other two eggs are going to be there, but they're going to be hatched with the week two loading screen right there that you're able to grab. Um, you can also see the Fire King is in the back on his throne doing some pose like this, whatever it may be. But um, yeah, guys, you can obviously see the eggs are hatched, and uh, it's almost looking like these hybrids came out of those eggs. So is is that what we're looking at right here, guys? These uh, these eggs, these these hybrids, is that what came out of the eggs? It's looking like that's what came out of the eggs, guys. I mean, they have the same emblem on the shoulder pad, and this is like a dragon. So, maybe 
the Fire King has these dragons and using them to fight against the Ice King. It's very, very possible, and that's what it's looking like, guys, to be completely honest. So, um, that's my theory at the moment, is what came out of those eggs are these hybrids, these dragon hybrids right here, and they're here to fight the fire, or to fight the Ice King. And one of the last things I want to talk about, guys, is the brand new bow that's going to be coming to Fortnite. Guys, the reason why I say it coming to Fortnite in a brand new bow is because if you look at the other loading screen in uh, Season 7, you can see the Ice King holding the Infinity Blade in his hand. Okay, that 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 uh, that picture was been around since the beginning of basically season seven, and he was holding that blade. Everyone was like, "What is this blade that he's holding?" Well, eventually they implemented that into the game, and it was called the Infinity Blade. The thing, if you have it in your hand, it gave you health every like so every second. It also gave you shield, and it was very very overpowered. Now, if you had this blade in your hand, you could not like build. You couldn't do anything um, towards the end of the season, right? Where they uh, kind of um, reduced the overpoweredness of the blade. They, you could not build with it. You could not have no weapons or anything like that with it. Only the sword. It was very overpowered. You could jump very far with it. Now, just like this season, season 8, there's a bow that that Ember is holding. And I do believe that's going to be a bow like the Infinity Blade. And I'm going to call it the Infinity Bow. And I do believe it's going to be in the chest. I do believe you're going to have to dig up the chest in game. There's going to be at X to mark some spot. You're going to need to use the shovel. And uh, you're going to need to dig up the treasure. And then open the treasure to get the bow. They're going to make it very difficult to get. Because everyone's going to be laying in here. Everyone's going to be digging that, that location. X marks the spot. And then having to open the chest to get the bow. It's going to be very, very very tough to do and uh that's one of the reasons why they, they made it so tough so i do believe that's where the bow's gonna be and i do believe it's gonna be like the like an affinity bow it's gonna give you some special power and it's, you're gonna be able to just do some crazy crazy damage with it man i'm super excited what they're gonna do with it i do like my theory of making it so hard to get the infinity blow uh the, the infinity bow to dig up x marks the spot and dig up the chest and then open the chest it makes it very difficult and not as easy as just walking up to an iceberg and picking up the sword. You know, so it makes it challenging and makes it worthwhile. So whoever gets the boat, it's going to be very powerful and tough to beat. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I just wanted uh, to talk mainly about the eggs hatching. Oh my gosh, man. I'm super excited about that. Next week, it's going to be super exciting, man. And also, man, I'm also thinking about uploading, like, weekly challenges on my on my channel as far as, like, um, as soon as the challenges get released, I'm going to be right on top of, top of it. Like, literally, right whenever they release, I want to be able to, I want to upload, like, short little, like, uh, one minute to two minute videos on where these locations are at. Okay, for example, like, uh, find the faces located at the jungle, uh, the desert and uh and the icy area right i want to just upload videos like that very short but uh as well do, do my theory videos so let me know what y'all guys think about that but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and end this video now thank y'all so much for watching if y'all have not used coast at the item shop please do that thank y'all so much for support we're so close to a thousand supporters literally we're so close let's keep pushing man keep on pushing and uh stay tuned for the next video guys thank y'all so much for support y'all are amazing if y'all have any theories any ideas if y'all found anything please message me on twitter as soon as possible and you'll be featured in the next video shout out to this guy right here for using my code in the item shop you're amazing man thank y'all for the support and i'll see y'all next video guys peace